Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install SQL Server that is latest version of SQL 2016 has been released in this month of uh, June and uh, here I am going to be installing this SQL Server in my uh, Windows 10 operating system Windows 10 and you can also install this SQL Server 2016 in your server Microsoft Server like 2008 uh, 2008 R2 and 2012 also you can install the method and procedure are same but before downloading and installing the SQL server you need to have minimum requirement that is .NET framework you need to have 4.6 the version before installing this SQL server so let us show you where you can download first you need to open the Google and you need to type SQL server 2016 once you uh, type the you need to open the first link which you, you can see on the screen and it is a uh, trial version is uh, of this sql server which is support for 180 days and uh, you can see before downloading you need to register registration is required for this uh, downloading and before that one you need to first of all you need to have microsoft account once you click actually once you open this site now it will be redirect to your login page so once you log in here with the account and uh, you need to scroll down to download this one and this one you need to select the iso image and this were the if you are looking for the dot exe file you can click cab cap which is supported for dot exe file and which i have downloaded the iso image once you need to click on register to continue click on register now you need to give the first name and just small personal information you need to give the username then ip email id then language after that country you need to select location then you need to click on continue now after clicking continue it will be start automatically downloading which you can see on the screen it's having 2.1 gb is the size which i have already been downloaded and you can see this is the ios image and this is your 64 bit support apps. and you can read about this one you just need to click plus you can read about descriptions and minimum requirements about this one is the installation is you can read this one and uh, please remember these uh, links are available below to my video in the description box this website links everything and once you click scroll down you can find about this uh, frame and required 4.6 version before installing and uh, once you scroll down you can find minimum requirement 1 gb ram at least processor you need to have 1.4 gigahertz recommend 2.0 gigahertz support type processor and please note this uh, note uh, installation of SQL Server to find support for only 64 bit. It is not supported for 32 bits. And uh, you can read all 64 bit other things here. And uh, here about the downloading downloading .NET frameworks. Just you need to click on download. It will be start at one downloading. And you need to have internet also very good for this one. And uh, here my uh, SQL Server is a this is the ISO image. And uh, what I have done is I have downloaded Win, U, Win, WinRAR. You can download WinZip also in, in search of WinRAR. Just click on the as image, right click, need to click extract the files here. You can click here, this one also, this one also, anyone which I have already been extracted here. Upon you need to click on setup.exe file, double click on that one, you need to click on continue. And please be patient for this one installation. And it will take some time to complete the installation and if you are looking for the, any error or anything you have you can comment it with the video and if you want click on the installations and you need to click on uh, a new sql server stand and additions you can read all those things required here and once you click on that one it will be uh, comes with the installation setup so once it came you need to select your if you have a key you can enter the key this is a trial version and to click on next and you need to accept the license agreement click on next and uh, just wait for the few minutes if you want to check this option you can check for the updates click on next and then here on the screen you know to by default it has been checked the options and showing the one updates is, this is very important to update this one before installation it should be check the continue then to click on next and here it will be automatically scanned for the updates and download and then to extract then install so just we need to wait few minutes here for this one to complete this task so now <clears throat> this has been passed one warning that is actually the firewall 
when I click on the firewall showing that firewall is unable we need to disable that one firewall to have the remote access so now I'm going to click on next here and once we click we came to feature selection here so here which is the feature you want for the installation uh, according to your purpose requirement you can select the all the features whichever you, you need that whatever if you need the all those things being you can select one by one by one everything if you want to select only alternative select requirement is there you can select anything anyone you call according to your purpose you can select anything the features you need, you need. and uh, here you can see this i have select selected only the database engine service and sql server replication because i am just showing the purpose for the installations that how to install the sql servers if you are want to install all the features me you can select you can select all the features you requirement here so just select the features and you, you can see this is the location where it is going to install and this is the c drive which is having this size whenever you select the any options checkbox it will be increase this size here and the right side you can see the feature description box yes which you can read about that one Sell, sell, click on next to install continue the then it will come with the uh, feature roles rules already we have been checked N now we came on the instance configuration is there you can select the name instance and default instance you can select and just click the next here it comes to the server configuration next year so here it has been uh, server configuration we came uh, you can check this box uh, like it's showing manual you can check this automatic and uh, you can set this uh, disable also you can set browser enable and you can if you want to check this grand performance i think it does not require this uh, checking box and here is you can see this service rotation also and this is a collocation is nothing but this is a language and just click on next here so here we came to the database engine configuration is there uh, this is the server configuration this is the window so here win windows authentication mode windows authentication mode is there and that means this is options select uh, when you have a windows account username and password it will be asked if you want to have a default mode means you can give the uh, username as uh, this is the default name is will be sa and the password you can give any password and it should be have a minimum six character of password so i'm selecting windows authentication mode only and you can you want to add the current user you can add you can remove here also and just click on next here so what i have done I just i click the current add the user i have click on that one and then i click the next it came on the here we came on the ready to install now then before continue installation you can have read these uh, uh, all those things features which we have selected on, on if you miss anything you can go back and uh, click to uh, ready to install now once you click on that you cannot go back here installation process already we have been began so just wait here few few minutes to complete the installation then back i will show you the sql server so here we uh, have been installed successfully all the features have been installed successfully and just I'm clicking to close it now and I'm going to start the SQL server here so let us close this one and just let us type windows r type here access ms press and enter actually uh, after that click on start button click on all apps once you click and that one you need to search the mysql so here is the mysql server installation but here this is the installation i have made a on based on stand alone edition so let me show you about this one so this installation has been made on new sql server stand alone installation so we didn't have actually sql server installation features now so for that one you need to click on your all features then you need to go to uh, my 
MySQL then you have to select this one next so actually you need to install this one install SQL server management tool you need to install this will launch a download page once you click on that one it will be open a page which you can see on the screen this will be open a page so you need to click on this one download which I have been already downloaded so just click to here on the setup and this is actually double s ms this is a sql server management tool which we need to install for this our uh, sql server just minimize this one like i said you need to click on install now click yes and uh, it's, this is installing microsoft sql server management tool. that is that is uh, sss SSMS this is your main tool which you uh, new the SQL server so it's downloading the uh, Microsoft that net framework also and dot downloading the uh, visual studio also and it takes some more time please be patient here So on the screen you can see all the setup has been uh, successfully completed. I am going to close it now and I am going to open it now to show you about this uh, SSS MS. I will come up with the... Okay. So just click on start now, go to all apps and you need to click expand now. So on the screen you can see this is uh, our SQL management stu uh, studio just click on that one and it will be open your SQL server 2016 management studio on the screen you can see or by visual studio so my friend you can see on the screen our SQL server is database connection engine showing you can select the database engine engine and you can give the server name you can select window authentication or SQL server authentication then you can give the login ID that is SA during the installation which give the password and you can click con connect so this is about your SQL server installation and uh, my friends uh, if you have uh, any problem during the installation you can comment below to my video and uh, like I said my video my friends and relatives and uh, if you have uh, getting any errors during the installations you can comment it also and uh, uh, if you want me to make a uh, make a installation for you, I can make a installation for you and just you add me on the Skype. My Skype ID is on uh, screen I will show you here and uh, that is my Skype ID is uh, cloud.network1. You can find the description box also that is my ID and, uh, and also you can uh, Add me in the GTOP also hangout IT cloud net activity method. Um, just send me request, I will add you. And uh, or if you have any, you can comment this. So, so just remember this installation. Actually, the installation process is simple, very simple. Uh, you need to download the uh, so you need to download actually, you need to download uh, SSS MS. You need to download just double click and install it. And you don't need to download this SQL Server 2016 setup iOS image. This is not required. Once you install directly, it will, you can access this your uh, SQL Server. And SQL for that one, uh, this is for standalone other features for updating purpose. You can install. If you have already SQL, then you need to download this iOS image extract it. Then you can click on setup. For for the purpose, if you have already skill, you can use the upgrade purpose and uh, the standalone other features you require. If you want directly, you are looking for the management studio, just download this SMS setup and you can install it. All the links you can find below to my videos. So, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to Plot.